You're listening to Secret Sonics, a podcast exploring the creative side of music production. Join us weekly for honest conversations with real-world music producers and audio professionals. Welcome back to Secret Sonics. I am your host, Ben Wallach. This is the Thanksgiving episode, so I thought I would take some time for myself, like many people do around Thanksgiving, and um, bring you a short little snippet of personal updates and maybe things I'm thankful for. And I'm also bringing you a brief interview with my wife, Aviva Wallach, who is the producer's spouse. Um, Before we get into the interview with Aviva, um, I wanted to congratulate three of the show's guests from this year who just got nominated for Grammys, which is just mind-boggling. Um, those three guests are Tim O'Sullivan, Matt Snell, and Daryl Howell. So congratulations, and it just it's just crazy to think about that, the fact that of all the people I've interviewed, so many people are, are at such a high echelon and also working at such a great level and... Uh, you know, if you come on this show, there's a good chance you'll win a Grammy or got, get nominated for a Grammy. So that's, uh, that, uh, that is pretty, pretty cool. Other than that, I guess I'll say thank you before we dig into the interview just for, uh, listening to this show. Thanks for giving me a reason to interview people every single week. Um, and this show has really been helpful for me during this pandemic of giving me something to look forward to and work on and be, and feel productive about even when times are hard and uh, work isn't always coming through the door, as I'm sure a lot of you are also struggling sometimes during this pandemic. I have also been, you know, missing out on work and things have been hectic or I'm locked inside with my family and I can't leave and I can't have anybody in and can't work. And, you know, through all these crazy times, just having this show has given me something to keep going and uh, it's, it's been a good, you know, it's been a reason for me to to get in front of the microphone meet new people, and do at least something good for the world during this crazy time. So without further ado, this is my wife, Aviva. (laughs) Good morning. (laughs) Good morning, Ben. Thanks for having me on the show. Thanks for letting me convince you to get me in the studio on your (laughs) podcast, finally. Yeah, it only took uh, 73 episodes. (laughs) Well, before I begin my interview, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving weekend to you and to all of your listeners. And I'm also, what you just said, very, very thankful for all of them for keeping you excited and motivated and giving you a reason to, you know, get in the studio every Sunday morning early, early to get this podcast out. Um, I'm just very, very proud of what you've accomplished. And even though I'm not, you know, your top listener or even (laughs) I don't really understand most of what you talk about, I understand how much you have committed and, you know, you're inspired by your own guests and that this is something that is really keeping you going during this pandemic. So thank you to everyone here who's listening and, you know, keeping keeping Ben going because I think <laughs> this is a really great thing for him this year. Yeah, and thanks. So, yeah, exactly that. I just want to say I'm very proud of you for everything that you've done on this podcast. And that leads me to my, to wow. my first... You heard it here, guys. Anyway, <laughs> that leads me to my first question, which is that I'm very proud of you, but what are you most proud of? and of your accomplishments on this podcast this year. Oh, man. You know, I'm proud to have brought so much good stuff to the world. I, I feel like these conversations have, like, given me a lot of insight in the work we do. And um, I'm just proud to have gotten that out there. And also just just to meet people, honestly. Like, the best the best thing that this show has done for me is, is it's just it's, it's enabled me to form relationships with people all over the world who are doing what I do. Um, and, you know, just connecting with them. Like we have a, I have a WhatsApp group with a bunch of the guys who have been on the show. Um, and we talk about stuff and we talk about like what we're working on and, and, you know, what plugins we want to buy and, and all kinds of silly things. And just like, just the fact that I'm in touch with so many cool people. And anyone who comes on the show can get on that WhatsApp group. Oh, yeah. If you want to join the WhatsApp group, I mean, I'm going to cap it when we get to 30 people. But if you want to join the WhatsApp group, there's a link in the show notes. Very cool. Yeah, I guess I guess the relationships I've formed is probably the thing I'm most proud of. Um, And second would be the actual content of the show that like people can listen and really learn a lot and get into a lot of different like I've I've, you know, I've been able to 
distill a lot of little takeaways from every episode that I want to imply to my own work. And uh, I'm sure listeners of the show could do the same. Okay, great lead up to my next question. How did you know? (laughs) Um, So you as a listener to your own show, give me two or three takeaways that you've learned from your guests that have kind of changed or improved the way you work in your studio this year or for the past 73 weeks. Um, Sure. Well, I would say the number one lesson is, is collaboration. Um, and that, that goes in, into several, you know, different categories. But like, I, I think my biggest mistake uh, as a music producer when I was at the beginning of my journey was kind of trying to do everything by myself. You know, you're the the guy that's just sitting in the studio working, working away hours and hours for getting to eat m- meals. And, and you don't realize that like, you really have no perspective and no more objectivity on the track you're working on. And, and sometimes you need to work with people who are not even necessarily better than you, but other people that have different ideas than you. And, and you can kind of like, you know, let those two ingredients, you know, cook together. So, you know, I'm inspired by the duos who collaborate together, like production duos. Like we just had Between on, we had Deco on in the past, uh, the Kelly brothers. So, there, you know, there are episodes with a bunch of collaborators. And I, I really think that but but it, it it goes further than that. It's like, you know, having somebody else tune the vocals, have somebody else do the mix or the master or, you know, just bringing in other people into the team of uh, of whatever stage of the production it's at, I think is super important. And I've learned that from talking with other people. And I mean, just the fact that talking with other people has really helped me as a person. Like, I, I think it just, you know, we go through this. So many people that do this just like to be by themselves. And that's maybe why they choose to do this. But like, you know, life is better when shared with other people and uh, so too music and music production specifically. So I think collaborating is probably the number one takeaway. Right. Um, I mean, I think we have that discussion sometimes not co- not connected to what you do, but because I work in an office and you work, you know, for yourself, you don't always have the opportunity of seeing teamwork and seeing. Yeah. But I've also seen that from you this year since you started working oh, yeah? with other people. Yeah. I see you getting more inspired, working on other things, talking about how you did something like, I I don't want to name drop because I don't know the names, but I think I've really seen that from your show. All right. Amazing. (laughs) So that, I I would say that would be the number one takeaway. Any others? Yeah. I I, I would say, I'd probably say that the second most important thing is to be yourself and to use your own artistic voice. Because I think a lot of people try to mimic other producers or mixers or whatever it is. Um, And, um, there was an episode um, with a guy named Chris Durkin out of uh, out of the UK who told me like his first big, hit, you know, the first song that worked for him and like, you know, blew up was a song that like he just like, you know what, F this, I'm going to go with my own artistic voice and not try to mimic someone else. And like that was the first song that people received really well. And I think at the end of the day, if you're somewhat of an artist, no matter what you're doing in this and you kind of have to go with your own whatever your voice is and kind of hone in on that and kind of use that with your work a little bit. So I would say those are the two things. Also work with other people, but also be true to yourself. Um, and I guess at this point, I'll plug this little, I'm, I'm working on this ebook. Um, I'm working with somebody who's going to help me market the podcast because I'm trying to reach a, a, a larger audience, uh, which is one of my goals for this coming year. Yeah, so in order to grow an audience, sometimes you need to build an email list and you know to get people's emails, you have to give them an incentive. So I'm working on this new uh, incentive and it's called the uh, Music Production Essentials. And it's 24, for now at least, it's 24 takeaways that I've learned over the course of over 70 interviews. Um, and I'm really pumped about it. I think it's super valuable. Yeah, it looks great. I'm really excited for you to release it. I've even read it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll be out soon. I don't know when. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's something to look forward to too and you just mentioned your goals for this year so here comes my next question ben oh boy ben jimin wallach <laughs> yes you've come so far we're 73 episodes in this episode you may call a half episode i don't know what you're gonna call it but what what do you see for the next 70 or let's just say next 10 next year what are your goals what do you hope to accomplish when am I going to interview you next and what will I don't know. it look like in, you know, a year down the line, two years down the line? You know, I, I, I don't know because, you know, you, you start something with one goal in mind and it takes you in a completely different path. Like when I started this podcast, I thought, you know, I'm going to build a really big audience and then some of that audience will, you know, hopefully work with me, maybe hire me to mix or edit their, you know, their songs or whatever it was. That was kind of my initial thought. And it kind of went in a completely different direction where it kind of just... Uh, it became a vehicle for me to meet 
amazing people and really learn from them and to bring something, you know, positive to the world. And, you know, when you when you start a podcast, it kind of makes you an authority figure on a subject, even if, you know, you're you're maybe BSing it a little bit. Uh, so, <laughs> um, yeah, but, but it, you know, so it's it's turned into a completely different thing. Not what I thought, not ex- not what I expected. So I don't know what the future brings. I'm hoping to. As I said, I still want to expand the audience. I feel like this show could help so many more people than are already listening to it. I think just the fact that three of my guests just got nominated for Grammys shows just like how, you know. Yeah, Mazel Tov. That's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's really cool. It just shows it's cool that, like, that I know someone that knows three people that are nominated for Grammys. That just got nominated for yeah. Grammys. And <laughs> we've had other Grammy winners and Grammy nominated people on the show already as well. But it just shows you that like – you know, real people are doing this work. Real people are accomplishing these goals and, and like... Being recognized for yeah, their hard and, work. Yeah, and they're accessible. And also, you know, you can do it. It's not crazy. You just have to put in the work and you have to, you know, learn the right things and you have to do it, you know, the, your way. So the, the show is going to keep going. Hopefully it'll be... The interviews will just continue to get better. I think the last, like, uh, 25 episodes or so have been, like, significantly better than the first 40-something episodes, like... Took me a while to really learn how to be an interviewer. Um, You're great at it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm. Hopefully, the show will grow and you know we'll reach new listeners. And you know, I do think I'm going to maybe tone it back a little bit with the editing. I feel like the edit, the ROI on how much I edit the show is not necessarily worthwhile, and I think it's going to be a little bit more of a chill experience for me because I just don't have as much time to do that anymore. Uh, but the episodes, you know, I think the because comp- you yourself have gotten a lot better. You learn with experience. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. Um, you had to edit a lot in the beginning because you never ran a podcast before. And now you're an excellent interviewer. You just go with the flow, and that I've seen that. Okay, uh, I appreciate that. So we'll see. I think it'll be a little bit less. It might be a little less formal moving forward, but I think the the content will be just as good. Also, moving forward. What's been amazing is I've been able to reach so many amazing people through word of mouth. You know, just I interview one person and they recommend other people for me to interview. And that's been amazing. Uh, Looking forward, I'm going to continue to do that. And I'm also going to be reaching out a little bit more to, you know, upper up, higher up people, uh, trying to get people that maybe wouldn't necessarily get recommended to me, but I could, you know, reach out on a on a cold level and you know most people are cool you know people like to talk uh about what they do and so i'm um, excited to hopefully get some amazing new guests on right the... but i think i'm i'm only your fourth woman on the show yes that is true and it is i need to reach out to more women maybe you could that's also a goal to get some more women on the show more, yeah i would more... love to have more women more diversity on the show I've tried really hard to get more women and more diversity on the show. Right. I've, I've gone out of my way to reach out to women. And it's interesting. Women that, have been much less right. receptive to my, uh, you know, my outreach than men. I think men like to talk about themselves more than women do. Um, and I think also because I'm a man approaching a woman, it's more maybe like not as comfortable for them. Or it's just a larger it, man-dominated industry. It is industry. totally a man domi- Yeah, it's a totally, unfortunately, male-dominated industry. It's like... But over 90, as a woman, over I could 90%. do it, right? If I tried? Yeah, as a woman, of course you could do it. There's some amazing women doing it. And if you know any amazing women who you think should be on the show, please reach out to me and send me an email, secretsonics at gmail.com, or send me a message on Instagram or something, and I'll, I'll have a look and I'll reach out. Yeah, so that's definitely another important point. Yeah. Sounds great. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on Secret Sonics, Ben Wallach. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> to the studio today. Yeah. Happy well, Thanksgiving. I live, here. <laughs> <laughs> I live here too. I'm still never in the studio. <laughs> yeah, not this time of day anyways. Um, awesome. Anything else that we want to talk about before we close this episode off? Just that I'm proud of you and you should be very proud of yourself. And I hope Thanks. your listeners enjoyed hearing your perspective on how far you've come because it's it's not an easy thing. Every week you come out here and you're bringing great content and you're working hard and, and you're proud of yourself. But they should know that, you know, I'm proud of you and great things are coming and we're excited. So yeah. go thanks, to Secret babe. Sonics and thanks for listening to our lovely spouse conversation. Thanks, Aviva. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, guys, you heard it from my wife. Good things are coming and she's proud of me and I'm pretty proud of the show as well. So share it with a friend. Share it with somebody who you think this could be helpful for. 
not necessarily this episode, but definitely. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the episode to share. Yeah, this she, woman knows she, nothing about music production. She does not know anything. <laughs> she doesn't know what reverb is. But <laughs> I'm holding the microphone right now. Yeah, you're holding the microphone perfectly. 